the Honorable the President. Honorable Speaker. The recent cabinet on the point of order speaker assessed on a the point implementation. Of order. Uh, excuse me, Honorable President, if you may take your seat. Honorable Malema, what is the point of order? Uh, Honorable Speaker, we are committing a serious constitutional blunder by allowing the President to speak in this House. We have since written a letter to you. Firstly, to ask you to discipline the president. And we did that through the normal channels of this parliament because we understood that following the constitutional court judgment, there must be consequences. It can't be business as usual. You are going on to continue with the president without any consequences. Even when the constitutional court pronounced clearly that the president violated his oath of office. Now we wrote again to you yesterday asking you not to allow the president to come to this house. Because when the constitutional court found that he did not respect his oath of office, he was honorable no more. And this house only allows honorable people to come and speak here not criminals of note, not people who continue to collapse this country because of their personal interest. We cannot allow the president to speak in this house. If you want to allow the president to speak in this house, you must know that you are acting outside the constitution and we are going to have to force you to discipline the president. We are going to have to go to court to force you to subject the president to court. These howlers can howl, there's nothing they can do. You are a group of howlers. The voters have rejected you because of the conduct of one man. You have lost metros because of this attitude of howling. This howling business is exactly what made you to be what you are Point in PE, in, in Tony, in Tony The voters have rejected Zuma. The voters have rejected Zuma. The voters are saying to you, the voters have whispered, the voters have whispered and said to you, you cannot continue the way you continue. Honorable Even when Malema, the voters have given you a warning, order, speaker. you are still not you listening. Are no you are no longer speaking to a no longer order. listening. Even when the voters want you Honorable on the Malema, 3rd of August. Point of order. Honorable, Honorable speaker, Malema. We have a motion here. Honorable Malema. Point of order, Honorable, Honorable Malema, take your seat. I'm not going to take my seat. You must tell Zuma to leave. Honorable Why must Malema, I listen to you when you don't tell Zuma If to leave you this want house? to disrupt the house, I'm not disrupting Malema, any house. I'm not going, to, I'm allow not going to disrupt any house. I'm not going to allow a criminal to speak in this house when you are no, doing nothing mic. about this criminal. This man is collapsing our country. All Honorable of you, you are scared of him. Honorable you Malema, you can't who's come collapsing and this country in the house. Single-handedly. And I am now going to switch off your mic. Honorable Speaker. Because you have no have, right have, to come and shout in the house. We have, we have, we have, but listen to me. Honorable Malema. But listen to me. You can't come to the house and scream. Honorable you said speaker. you wanted to be allowed to yes. express a point of order. Let me make and my I last gave point. you that opportunity. And you are now abusing the opportunity. I'm making my last point. That, no, I am not allowing you, Honorable Malema, to continue. But are you going to allow You Zuma? said. No, I'm you, not allowed. Honorable Malema, take your seat. I'm not allowed. Honorable when a Malema. Man who has been found take to have your seat. broken his oath of office is going to be allowed to speak here. He, he will speak. We are not going to allow that. He is going to speak. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, may I please get your attention concerning the, the response which you sent at five minutes to two, even when you had received it uh, at midnight yesterday. 
Rule 11 of the recently adopted rules of the National Assembly says that application to President of the Republic and other non-members. And number one of that says that these rules and orders of the House apply as appropriate to the President of the Republic as they apply to a minister. And number two says that a reference of these rules and orders of the House to a member or a minister must, where applicable, be construed as a reference also to the President of the Republic and to the Deputy President or a minister or a Deputy Minister who is not a member of the House. And in your response, you say that you cannot take a disciplinary action against the president because he's not a member of the house. But the rules that you operate with here say that the rules of the National Assembly are applicable to him. He has misled parliament on many occasions. He said he has got a bond in the Nkanda construction. The bond only came now from the vendor building society. It was not there. And it means that he is right here in the house. So there must be action on him Honorable that Shibambu. must be taken. Honorable Shibambu, so that you, is the issue of principle you that are we are raising. Indirectly. How do we deal with Honorable the Shibambu, How do we listen Please to Please take president? your seat, Honorable Shibambu. Who is not responsible? You are busy trying to compel the house to deal with business that is not before it. Because the business before the House is questions to the President. And the National Assembly Programming Committee has but programmed speaker, that this afternoon we are taking answers to the questions to the President. But speaker, and Honorable Shibambo, I appeal to you to take your seat and speaker, allow the House issue to that proceed. That you cannot let a person who has committed crime to go and, and, and Honorable Shibambu, it's, it's a basic principle. We will not deal with any business here this afternoon other than questions to the president. And I appeal to you to take your seat it's a if basic you want to remain that in the to house. To. It is what the rules Honorable say. Honorable Shibambu, take your seat. Madam Speaker, we want to assist you and the house so that at a right moment, the man seated there is able to address this house. We are asking Honorable you, Honorable Gadi, I President, did not give you an opportunity to take the floor. We are requesting you. I did not give you the opportunity to I raised take my hand. the floor. Honorable Gadi, I did raise my Honorable hand, Madam, Gadi, Madam Speaker. And I did not I raised agree. my hand. Madam I did Speaker. not recognize, Re recognize me, Madam Speaker. No, Honorable Gadi. Honorable Gadi, allow me to run this program. Speaker. I have no, not no, no. recognized you. No, no I take your seat. So that I can sit down. I just want you to answer one question. Take Are you your gonna seat. allow this thief to speak to us? That's all I want to ask. Take you. your seat. Is that all? I'm going to cooperate and take my seat. Take can your you seat, Honorable Member. So you're gonna allow this thief to speak to us. Okay. Honourable Speaker, I've had my hand up for a while. Will you please recognise me? You know, I'm new to the National Assembly, so I need your guidance on this matter. And we're referring to Rule 11 of our wonderful Rules of Parliament. And you haven't explained to us why you are not charging the President. And why are we allowing him to talk here? I just don't understand. This matter's been going on forever and a day. And we even have to write to you in the middle of the night so you can and know that we're going to come and ask you why you're not charging the president. Can you please just respond? You're looking very beautiful today, by the way, but we would like to have a response from you. Please, Speaker. Why is the president not being charged? It's a serious matter. The president's even laughing there because it's a joke. The ANC, they laugh because everything is a joke. Honorable Maitis, can you please take here. your seat? On a point of order, Speaker. Speaker, on a po I rise on a point of order. <clears throat> on a point of order, Speaker. Speaker, on a point of order. May I please rise on a point of order, Speaker? 
What is your point of order? The point of order, Speaker, is that we, 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 we want to cooperate with this process. But I think maybe what would be fair, Speaker, would be that you need to give this House clarity, and perhaps even the people of this country, that it is okay for a sitting president to violate the constitution and nothing happens. If you can clarify Honourable us on Chewane. that, then we'll cooperate. Honourable can you Chewane. at least weigh on that matter Honourable that it is Chewane. okay for a sitting president to violate the constitution and nothing happens, and even at the Honourable parliamentary Chewane. level, when we rise to seek clarity on that, we are not allowed space. Is it okay for a parliament to rubber stamp Honourable and listen Chewane. to a president who violates a The issues of you are raising have been thoroughly dealt with by this honorable house which platform was that because the, the national assembly has parliament. had debates on the issues you are raising and i appeal to you to sit but, but down can I seek take, your seat, on take your seat take your seat when i'm okay? talking to you no is it is it correct honorable chewane take your seat when i'm talking to you nothing happens honorable chewane take your seat Honorable take Speaker, your seat, Honorable Shibambu. That have been saying that the Honorable AFL Shibambu, has take your seat. To all these things, they have never agreed to such a thing. Honorable Shibambu, we take it your to seat. attention, even in the meeting that you called yourself that. Honorable we Shibambu, never can you please leave the a chamber? The president must come and address us. Here Honorable Shibambu, leave the chamber. Leave the chamber, Honorable Shibambu. On Honorable Shibambu, leave the chamber. On, on a point of and order, if you are refusing to leave the no, chamber, on a, on a, on a I am going to order, ask sir. the sergeant at arms to assist you on to a, show a, you the a, door a, a so that you order, can sir. leave the chamber and allow us to proceed sir. with the business of this I'm afternoon. Going, I'm going to help you to get Honorable Shibambu to leave the house. Just listen to me. Honorable Shibambu. Honorable Speaker, can I address you please? Can I before? ask the Sergeant at Arms to proceed to Honorable Shibambu Honorable so that he can leave the house and let me proceed with the business of the house? Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we've got a motion after the President, which we want to debate and to ask Honorable Shibambo to leave the House, even when he has not defied you. He was not defying. He was raising the point that they never agreed in Honorable the Honorable Shibambo, can you please forum. leave the House? Honorable Speaker, please hear me out before. Honorable Malema, you yourself are on your feet addressing me without oh, me please having recognize given you. me. I have not given you the permission to stand and address. Honorable Shibambu, can you please leave the house? Honorable Speaker. Can you leave the house? Honorable Speaker, we have got a motion here today which we are going to lead in terms of what must happen in this house. And the Rule 53 that you are using to want to remove me does not say what you are saying should happen now. You are again engaging in an illegal activity. Honorable Speaker, since you don't want to recognize me, we are going to leave this house because we are not prepared to listen to this criminal but we will wait outside when the criminal finishes speaking we are coming back to continue with the business of this parliament we are just going to the loo because we are avoiding the criminal we will come back when the criminal is gone thank you you can continue Zuta. order speaker what's the point Order. Order, Speaker. Yes, Honorable. Order, Speaker. Who's calling? This side, Speaker. It's Honorable right. Kandiwe. Skatele ikebe ngulez pambuwe. Kaza meze chen. Zuma mas kotu chen. Prison. 